Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingelele and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are answering this great 10 life sciences organic compounds question from a previous question paper. So let us go through the question guys. The table below shows amounts of different types of food eaten by Elena and the organic compounds. Um, the total organic compounds she ate is 144.9 grams. Now you are given the food types in the first column, potatoes, um, chicken and peanut butter. Then in the second column, you are given the organic compounds in grams. The ones you're given is carbohydrates, proteins and fats. The first question, Identify the food type that is made mostly of fats. So these are the food types. Identify the one that is made mostly of fats. So you go to this column for fats. And the one that has the highest um, grams is obviously peanut butter. So the one that is made mostly of fats is peanut butter. Easy peasy. All right. State the monomers of fats. Remember, monomers are building blocks. So what are the building blocks of fats? One mark. We know that the building blocks of fats are fatty acids and glycerol. So you'll have three fatty acids and one glycerol. Okay, one mark, one mark. Um, for two marks, you need to calculate A. So A is basically the protein that we find in chicken for our particular example. So we need to find the grams, uh, the protein grams for chicken. We need to show all our calculations. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so we are given the total of the organic compounds. So what we basically need to add is the grams for each organic compound and for basically each food type. So we'll start with potatoes, then chicken, then peanut butter, add all of that. Then minus the total of that from this organic compounds total, then we should be getting a 27. So if we show all of our calculations, we'll start from um, the potatoes. So that is 17 grams plus, um, okay, let's indicate the grams plus, 2 grams plus, 0 0.1 grams plus, 0 grams plus, 3.8 grams plus, 20 grams plus, 25 plus 50 grams. So the total is 117 grams. Okay, I just had to calculate that again. So it's 117.9, 117.9 grams. Then you're gonna minus that from the total. So that will be um, 144,9 minus 117,9. So then your answer will be 27, 27 grams. So that's the 27 grams there. Okay. Yeah. So let's move to the next question, 2.1.4. Give the chemical reagent that is used to test proteins. When we test proteins, we use the millions reagent gas. Okay, um, then uh, explain for two marks, explain the color change when a starch test, when a starch test using iodine is done on potatoes. So when you do a starch test using potatoes, you then add a few drops of iodine. So the color will obviously change to blue black, which will indicate the presence of starch in the in the potatoes so that's the answer so we first start by talking about the color change the color change the color changes to blue black 
So that will be the first take. It changes to blue-black color when you add these drops of iodine. And that basically indicates to us, that indicates the presence of starch in potatoes. Because we know that when we do this test, guys, we use iodine as an indicator. So if iodine changes to a blue-black color, that indicates to us that there is starch present. If iodine remains uh, as a reddish brown, if it remains reddish brown, that means there is no starch present. It is our indicator when we do a starch test.